Alright guys, today we are headed out here on Cuatro Colinas to continue a search for the elusive melanistic male pheasant. You know, in the last few months I've been doing a great effort to find one mainly on Hirschfelden without any luck and for that reason I think it's time to finally change things up and see if our luck is better here on Cuatro Colinas than it is on Hirsch. And of course as always we'll be doing some server hoping to apart from having a certain chance to come across a melanistic also have a good shot at finding some monsters like this max estimate hero European hair. You know, the European hair is arguably one of the rarest diamonds in the game, and undoubtedly the rarest diamond here on Cuatro Colinas, so it certainly would be amazing if this guy is in fact a level 3. Now, you may have heard that earlier this week it was revealed that a new DLC is coming to the Honor Call of the Wild very soon, and everything indicates that it's gonna be a new dog. You know, personally I wasn't especially excited when I heard that announcement because I was certainly expecting to see a new map at this point of the year, but I mean getting a new dog is also exciting and the fact that it was confirmed that a new map is still in the works is also quite promising since they are essentially taking more time to make it right and not end up rushing it like they did with New England Mountains, so it's certainly exciting to think that the next map will have some extra production time behind and potentially become one of the best maps ever released. I mean, there are plenty of possibilities as far as the location goes, you know, we may be getting an Arctic map, we may be getting an Asian map, or maybe Europe, but regardless of the location, I think we can be sure that it will be a quality map with plenty of new species and definitely worth buying. Okay, Flink, she's there. Well, we can be sure it is in fact the same hair, but considering the tracks are also heading that way, I think there's a very high chance. Let's see if it is a level 3. Okay, as you can see there's a red zone right here, which means that she was buried here just a few seconds ago and the call we heard was in fact made by her. So she shouldn't be too far, she should be less than 100 meters out. And mainly because at the moment there's a bug affecting both the hares and rabbits, which basically causes them to not run when they should be fleeing. You know, many times you can easily approach them and they simply won't run. And by approach them I mean like getting less than 20 meters out. Here is honestly an annoying bug which has been part of the game for probably more than a year now and it hasn't been fixed for unknown reasons. So I certainly hope they work on that at some point because currently there's no sport in hunting rabbits, it is simply quite boring. And here we have it, about time. How big is it? Is she a level 3? Man, I really hope it is. Although it's not, there is only a level 2 with a top estimate of 6. In theory she could be diamond since the diamond score is 6.5 but I'm yet to see a level 2 diamond European hair posted so there are no reasons to think that they can make it below level 3. And now let's see if it is at least close to diamond, as I said I don't expect it to make it so she's probably only a big gold. And in fact she has a score of 6.06, we hit him at 16 meters with the 12 gauge Hachatore after a chase of less than 1 km. You know I certainly would have loved to get a diamond right off the bat, but it's still a decent trophy to begin the hunt. Alright guys, we're still on the same session, and as you can see I just stumbled across the track of a potential level 3 pheasant, a max estimate. I will never say no to a diamond potential pheasant, so I'ma start tracking this guy and we'll see how big it is. Now regarding my plans for future Call of the Wild content in the short term, I gotta say that my main goal in the upcoming weeks will be to finally finish the highly requested Medved Taiga guide including all the hotspot maps. You know I'm very aware that these guides help a lot of people and that a lot of people expect them as soon as possible, but I'm not gonna lie, they are quite tedious to make, you know, they require a lot of work and they can easily burn me out if I spend too much time making them. So for that reason I decided to take a break from exploring maps and producing guides to focus on making other kind of content which I honestly find more fun to make, however I think it's time to finally retake what I already started and finally complete my Medved Taiga guide, which by the way you can expect to see available in the next two weeks. Alright, warning call. Label 2, that's the max estimate. Up to 19 trophy rating. He's not massive, he's actually quite small to be a max estimate. And that's it, he's down. I frankly don't expect anything from this guy, he's probably only a medium sized gold, 
and actually he's only an 18.36, far from being impressive. Ok, different station and we have another big track, this time from a Max SM8 Walbor, which may be the first diamond of the hunt in case it is a level 5, so as always we're gonna do our best to find it as quickly as possible, and actually right now we're at the Walbor rest time, which means that he's bedded probably not too far from here, and we may be able to spot him while he's resting if we are careful enough to not spook him before we're able to figure out exactly where he is. Oh, hold up, right there. Is that the same group? I think it's safe to assume it is. Although I don't see any max estimate. Oh! Look at that! He's a level 5. No way. How crazy is that? I mean, when chasing max estimates, I never expect diamonds because it is simply very rare when one of these tracks actually ends up leading us to a diamond potential, and especially when talking about wildboards because their max estimates are relatively common and only a small fraction, a very small fraction of them are gonna be max levels, so this one is a very nice surprise. So what I want to do here, seeing how close we are to this board, is to place the electronic caller and play the wildboard call because I would love to get them using the new ray curve and this certainly looks like a very good scenario to do so. Alright, the first one's coming in. Hey, level 3. Should be just a matter of time for the level 5 to show up. Hopefully, very soon. And there he is. Less than 40 meters out. Luckily the wind is good, although he is already attentive. We gotta hurry up. You know, it won't be the most simple shot since we are not gonna use any sight, but it still should be relatively safe as far as he is pro sight. Alright. He is facing the other way. Here we go. And that's it, that should be a battle. Yeah, he went down real quick, so that was probably a double long. And now let's see a score of this massive level 5, perhaps the first timer of the hunt. Let's see. Fingers crossed. 151.72, he's a diamond, and quite a big diamond, 230kgs, it is a fat bacon. As you can see we hit a nice double long at 41 meters using the new takedown recurve bow after a chase of only 900 meters. So very nice trophy, honestly a diamond walbor was one of the diamonds I wanted to get the most, especially using a bow since before this one the last diamond walbor I got using the recurve was like back on 2021, so a long time ago. No way! Look at that! An albino male pheasant, an albino rooster. You know, it is not a melanistic, but supposedly these guys are just as rare as the male, so it is just an amazing find. Of course, I would have preferred to find a melanistic, but I can't complain because my last rare rooster was like almost two years ago, you know, that is how rare these things are. Incredibly rare. Well, now we're gonna have to chase him for who knows how long, since unfortunately we spotted this rooster when he was already quite far, so we couldn't shoot him, and honestly the only thing I fear is that this turns to be one of those incredibly long chases, like I remember very well the time I had to chase my first albino rooster, which I had to track for more than an hour, and it ended up becoming a 6 km chase, it was crazy. So that is the only thing I fear apart from getting disconnected or kicked from the server, you know, that also happens quite often. Oh, 
Oh, there he is! Right in front of us! Come on! Just take off! Alright, let's go for it! We hit him! And he's down! That's it! Man, fortunately, it didn't take too long, I was expecting a way longer chase, but at the end I don't think the tracking distance was more than one kilometer. As I said, these guys are supposedly just as rare as the melanistics, so it is just as special, with the only difference, of course, that I already have one. Although, as far as I remember, the one I got was the level 1 silver, so this one should be way bigger. And actually it is a gold, 16.8 gold. A gold albino rooster, how cool is that? I mean, this one is undoubtedly one of the rarest rares in the game, and the fact we have honed pheasants so much in the last two years while only getting one of these albinos really proves how truly rare they are. Such a nice trophy, it is absolutely beautiful.